and welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. Last week, we talked to you and showed you about how easy it is to add mail accounts to your Apple Mail program. And probably by now you've played with it and you probably know how to get around in it pretty easily because it really isn't difficult. This week, we're just gonna walk through the interface just a little bit, just to give you some a little bit of background and maybe some things you didn't know about and stuff like that as well. So let's go ahead and open up the mail program. And I already have it running in the background here, so let me get down here and open it. And one of the things you would probably notice when you first start mail for the first time is this is how it looks. And it's actually, you're wondering where some things are that you're used to. If you're, especially if you use Outlook, you're used to the bar on the side that gives you some information. That bar is there, it's right here under the show. So we're gonna go ahead and click on show. And there you see your file structure that you're kind of used to seeing. And if you scroll down, you can see that you have your, like I have Yahoo in my Gmail file structures down here beneath this. So that is uh, quickly how you get to your folders. Now, um, up here at the top, you have a button that looks like uh, a pen and a piece of paper, which is a compose new message. And then to the left of that, you have get new messages. So if you ever wanna check your messages, you can click on this little button and it'll start downloading messages. Most times it'll do it by itself and every recovery a couple minutes anyways. But if you're waiting for something and you're somebody on the phone with the customer support or something and they send you something, you can click this button and kind of make it hurry up and check your mail for you. So to compose an email, you come over here and you click on this compose button, just like this, and a new message comes up. And this works like most other mail programs. So what you have is your two addresses, you have your CC address and your subject. And then if you have multiple emails right here, you can see that I have two different email addresses that I can send email from. So I can say, there it is, it's going to go through Yahoo instead. So that's what that uh, does if you have multiple email accounts. And you can set up a default, and we'll walk through the defaults in another episode for mail preferences. But in the mail preferences, and I'll tell you how you get there because it's pretty easy to figure it out for yourself. If you go to mail and go to preferences, and you'll see in there all kinds of options you can set up for preferences. So in the new message window, you have your attachments right here. And we're gonna talk about attachments in another episode, how the other ways to attach. If you're coming from a PC, you probably know of this button where you click the button and you go and you find the file you want to attach and choose the file. And that works just fine. However, on the Mac, there's other ways you can do that as well. And then up top here, you have um, other options like uh, just putting photos in from iPhoto, which is another episode we're gonna talk about as well, because there's multiple ways you can do this. And this particular computer, I don't currently have an iPhoto library, but we will have one put in here for future episodes. And then over here to the right, you can actually change the style of your email. And I say you want to use the dots. So this would be like happy birthday. And you can drag your own images in here and write your own down here below. And you can do this with all kinds of stuff. You can do banners and you know, things like that. So there's all kinds of things you can do. I don't use this stuff very often, but there's a ton of it in here that uh, you can do. So let's go ahead and we're going to take that away. And then right here you have your, uh, if you're typing the email and you want to change some of the fonts, this brings down your font and your text control windows. So that's the new message window. After you compose your message, you come over here and this envelope, looks like an airplane that you're getting ready to throw down, will um, actually be black, or you can click on it and send the message. Right now there's nothing there because I have nobody in my to address list. All right, we don't wanna save this. So when you're back here and if you click on email, you see these little blue dots. These blue dots mean that the mail has not been read yet. I'm going to click on one of these in a second, but you notice how this is yellow and this one's kind of like a yellowish, well, it's yellow brownish kind of color. What that is telling you is it thinks that this is spam. So it might not be spam. And what you can do is when you click on it, you can say right here to the right, it's not junk. And that will, next time you get that email, it will not be yellow like it is or brown, whatever color that is. And also because it thinks it's spam, by default, it's not going to load any images. So I could click on load images and it'll load images. I don't think Steam really has any images in it that I'm aware of, it does not. So I don't know what that was there for, but um, that's how that works. And so now you see the blue dot went away. And if you get, by default, this is not turned into this mode, but um, you can turn it into conversation mode. So what happens in conversation mode is say you get the same subject from somebody, from two different people that are talking about it. When you click on this, on this side, you'll be able to scroll through all the different responses. Now, I don't have anything here I can always show you with that. Oh, maybe I do. Actually, I do. So um, this is an email, I'm not quite sure who it's going from or to, 
but <laughs> you see there's two emails here, and that's because this is the, the stream of emails for this conversation. So it is turned on in this particular instance right here. All right, so um, to search for an email, this is another important thing, you're trying to find something, you come up here and you type in a subject and we saw the VCL emails, which is one of my uh, group lists. I'm gonna type in VCL and you see it can, subject contains VCL. All right there, I can click on that and what it's going to do is it's going to go through all the emails I have for that VCL. You see how fast that is. That's one of the nice things about a Mac, it's super fast. All right, so that's how you do a search and you can put in multiple searches as well. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear this out just like this. And that is pretty much what I want to cover about getting around in mail. I mean, from this point on, it's pretty much uh, and any other mail client. They're all very similar, but that'll get you started in a quick way. And we're going to cover mail in more detail in, the, in the upcoming episodes, uh, some of the options that are in mail, how to send pictures, and there's multiple ways you can send pictures, um, how to send attachments outside of using that little, uh, little uh, paperclip button because there's better ways. Actually, I think there's a lot better ways. <laughs> And uh, Mac has that all built in, and we're going to show you all that stuff too. However, the, what you're used to if you're coming from a PC with the, the pip clip button still works just fine. That's it for Mac Mint this week. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.